Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays, uh, Binding of Isaac Red Dailies. Yesterday, Mathis beat me. I'll be straight up. This guy, he's got no class, though. Every time he beats me, he rushes to Twitter, I gotta tell Dad I beat him! Dad, I beat him! And he tweets me, oh, I beat you three out of the last four dailies. Yeah, well, uh, sure, Joni loves Chachi, but does Chachi give a flying fuck about Joni? Plus, he even rubbed this one in my face, which is bullshit, because he died. I got 31.6 thousand points. Probably won't even do I'll kick his ass today. He won't even do the daily. We're playing as Eden. I'm not going to get hit at all today. Bob's Rotten Head, Scorpio, 1 HP. Shit, we, like, really should not get hit today. Okay, I'm, I'm being facetious, by the way. But it is starting to, like, you know, if you want to create beef, I don't come at you with ground beef, dog. I come at you with some Kobe. Grass-fed... Cows treated better than we treat our human friends. Instead of getting like guaranteed three cents, I chose to shoot those pots for a chance at a quarter. The chance of the quarter was low enough to probably not be the right decision there. <gasps> well, okay, champion version of the spider shoots out those shots at uh, <laughs> in a radial pattern as opposed to just at the 45 degree angle mark. Let's come in here. Shielded tears. Shielded tears, huh? Um. I think Shielded Tears are actually pretty good. They synergize nicely with a lot of other items, but the problem with Shielded Tears um, becomes, or has always been, I guess, that if your rate of fire is low, they're horrible. You know, you, you can't do any damage to anybody. So, I think what we're gonna try to do is, let's see what we get from our boss here, and maybe that'll tailor our decision more. Maybe it'll tend to tool man tailor our decision more. What I mean is that if we get like a tears upgrade, doesn't have to be coat hanger, you know, toothpicks, torn photo, etc., etc., the screw, anything along these lines. Synth oil's pretty great, great as well. Um, then we could reroll, or sorry, could keep it, but I think I'm gonna reroll it. I think I'm gonna reroll it. Let's go for it. This gave us Libra. I'm gonna take it because I'm I'm weird like that. But also, uh, I think that this is pretty good for us right now for the consumable gain, because it also allows us to get in here. I was really, really hoping... Hmm, Temperance is actually pretty good. But I was really, really hoping to pick up a um, Spirit Heart. But we can always get one on the next floor, or at least we, we should have a chance to get one on the next floor. Um, pretty good chance to get over 15 cents here, considering we already have over 15 cents, and that'll be another one to take us to 20. So we will take Mom's Box, and then our first trinket is going to be Black Feather. And I'm just going to stick with Black Feather for now, uh, because I want 5 cents for the next floor, for sure. So I think we did pretty good there. We didn't get hit, um, and a lot of people are probably going to die on the first floor, because of the fact that it's is not super easy, and you start with little HP. But um, I think finding the secret room, getting Mom's Box is going to give us a lot of potential for for upward mobility. We didn't die to the Mullabooms. That's always uh, reassuring. Inside of our shop, there is a Spirit Heart, so we will buy that. And now I feel... I wouldn't say, like, I feel 100% safe, but I feel safe enough that we'll probably survive this floor. Feels good, man. Okay. Admittedly, I, d I don't really know what Black Feather does, so we may uh, want to stick with it. But my guess is that we'll probably go for something else. Okay, pin fight is not bad. This is going to be our deal with the devil, of course, which will uh, largely inform how the rest of the game goes for us for the, the relatively near future, at least. Um, I, I really hope we get HP. We did in a roundabout way. We got Jesus Juice plus the Spirit Heart, and then um, sure, I mean, we have to take the nail. Alright, a little dangerous. <laughs> Very nearly died uh, over the course of that, but we did get uh, we did get the nail, and that's good stuff. Uh, you think this could be our secret room? That's very lucky. It could have also been next to our shop, which would have been substantially worse for us. Oh, flat penny is absolutely an acceptable trinket. We get into our curse room for free. Inside of our curse room, we get some pills, and then that. Okay, no health down. What? Did you see? He shot the bomb right into me! That's alright, we only need to survive for uh, six more rooms. Six more rooms, can of corn, and I'll be alright. So I've taken some damage, but it's not actually, like, incredibly horrible damage or anything like that. We'll just do a, a little uh, ring around the rosy here. Only one spirit heart, but one spirit heart's all we need to feel pretty good about our survivability right now. 
Ooh, we can't get into our uh, boss trap room as well. That's free points. Kane's other eye is pretty poor. But I can't really sweat this one too much. I mean, we're in a much, much better position. I think a lot of people are going to die on the first couple of floors here. And even if you make it to the, um, to the deal with the devil and get the deal with the devil, like the, the room, you need to have a spirit heart to protect yourself so you'll live if you get hit. Oh, that's pretty good too. So I think that really we're, we're probably in the minority right now. And this sets us up nicely to, to make some waves here, but I, mean, I, I could be wrong. I don't know. I have, I have humility about it. Let's put down Temperance, blow it up. We at least uh, tried to get something out of it, and we got a black heart out of our second secret room. I think we're doing really well on exploration, decent on damage, and I think we're probably more well set up than most people would be at this point in the game. I mean, I don't even know what this run looks like if you don't take Libra, because your, your consumables are going to be all jacked up. You might be able to get what you need, but you might not. Virgo, um, sure, Virgo's fine. If you had shown me Curse of the... Uh, or if you'd taken away Curse of the Blind, would I have still gone for Virgo? I, considering how many consumables we have, I might have been persuaded to reroll a little bit. But for now, I'm feeling like, um... It's certainly not like we just picked up soy milk accidentally. It's At, at worst, it's okay. Which is pretty good. And we're making good time here. This one does go to, uh, I mean, all the way to the, to the bottom, it seems. So, better be ready for, uh, the long haul. Getting a few extra battery charges here sets us up extremely nicely if there's a deal with the devil on this floor. I mean, we're about to get three spirit hearts when we complete this room right here, so... Possibly a black market, too. Unlikely, but possibly. But, you know, two battery charges plus, you know, a natural nail charge pretty much is, uh... Is one free deal with the devil right there. Plus whatever we can get from this. That is not a black market. Uh, I'm gonna come back this way just because it seems like this is probably not where the action's gonna be, so I'm expecting that we'll probably have to backtrack through the other way. Yeah, beautiful. Um, this is totally fine. Could have gotten the damage bonus from the nail for the mob trap room, but I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's necessarily aggressively relevant to our situation right now. Another key and uh, pays for that, which then paid for itself. So we're we're very much paid for here. That doesn't sound right. Um, all right. I mean, we've seen not even close to the, what we're going to see on this run. But it's looking all right. I mean, I have a hard time with the nail and, like, acceptable damage. I start to have a hard time fathoming how we die. Like, as of right now, it seems like we're completely fine. What situation or scenario can we concoct where we die within the next few floors? There's a very easy one. Anyone? Uh, Jimmy? At the back of the class? That's right, if we play the self-sacrifice room too much for absolutely no reason, because this one already goes to the dark room or the chest anyway, that would be a, that would be an increasingly poor decision. There's no doubt about it. Man, like every consumable on this whole run, that was the worst thing I've ever done in my life right there. I really thought there was a way out there. Luckily, we got balls of steel out of it, but I, I got hit because I trapped myself in that mushroom, but anyway. Every consumable that we've offered on like this whole run has paid for itself in one way or the other. Once you get past the first couple of floors, it's actually like, it seems like a pretty nice daily. They're offering a decent amount of spill and a, a lot of spirit hearts, assuming you have the nail. Pretty bad dodging. I'll admit my damage penalty is kind of a little, little subpar right now. We got a seven cent car battery, which is incredible. Means every time we use the nail, we'll get uh, we'll get two spirit hearts, which takes us almost to full HP up here. Now we could play the self sacrificer. I'm not gonna. I promise. However, uh, we could and try to get like the most ridiculous time on the daily, but we're not gonna do this. Don't worry. As much as it would be interesting, I don't think it's the the right course of action. I know it's not the right course of action. Figured we'd use one bomb just to speed up this fight a little bit. We're about two minutes ahead of schedule for boss rush, but, you know, one minute of that can be erased pretty quickly by, like, a super envy fight, and then doesn't take too much to, to swing the pendulum in that other direction. Nearsighted friend holding it down, doing 1% of his HP uh, every 45 minutes. Roid Rage takes us a little closer to spawn, and uh, I don't mind having extra speed here. Caves 2. 
Oh, remember, because we have Libra, it's not really extra speed. It's like every all stats upgrade, or every stats upgrade that we inc we pick up is an all stats upgrade that just depends on uh, the magnitude of the uh, increase to begin with. That sounds a little confusing, I'll admit. Thank you for eating that. That's the, the third sequel to Thank You for Smoking. It's about Vermont cheddar cheese. If you haven't seen Thank You for Smoking, I'd recommend it. It's Aaron Eckhart at his finest. Oh, yeah, what about the, the Dark Knight? I got nothing against the Dark Knight. It's probably my favorite superhero movie of all time, but come on now with the, you know, you've also got Thank You for Smoking. Aaron Eckhart at his slimiest. And if you're born with a face like Aaron Eckhart, which is to say, offensively handsome, then you need to play a slimy character in order to get some, uh, in order to get some clout in my book. Because if you're just a handsome dude and you're playing a good dude, it's like, come on. Make him work a little bit for his likability. That's why I like him in The Dark Knight Rises, because they're like, hey, Aaron Eckhart, you're like a handsome man, right? And then he's like, that's that's me, I'm Aaron Eckhart. And then you go, okay, I'm going to have you play a character where we uh, burn half your face off with toxic acid. And he's like, you know what? That seems like a role that fits for me, so I'm, I'm in. I'll finally see how the rest of the population feels about themselves on a daily basis! Okay. I'm down here. Uh, we're, we're, we're not getting stronger as fast as I would like. It's a nice leisurely day, you know? It's like going to a restaurant, it's not blowing your socks off, but you're like, you know what, this is a pretty good, you know, chicken korma, or something like that. But I'd like to get stronger faster. Unfortunately, with Libra, we're kind of precluded from that, because, um, I mean, whenever we pick up any damage upgrade, it gets distributed to all of our other stats. Of course, the caveat there in the positive direction is that we'd also get, um, damage from any stats upgrade, so it really comes down to what are we getting more of? Damage upgrades that would serve us better in different con uh, contexts, or are we getting uh, non-damage upgrades that are serving us very, very well in their uh, current context? I said, yeah, what a concept. I could use a little fuel myself, and we could all use a little change. That actually ended up working out extremely well for us right there. Ah, that was dumb. But we got, so, I mean, there's a spirit hot back here at least, but we got uh, more than we paid for. I do think that I've, I've bricked it up a little bit from a damage perspective, but I'm feeling pretty solid about the way this is going so far. We're obviously, like, look at our HP distribution. We're going to qualify for, like, every deal with the devil that's available. Um, for un Unless we die, in which case we will not. But, uh, I'm, I'm not feeling fantastic about the amount of dumb damage I've taken, but that's kind of like... You know, when you get complacent because you've got so much HP, you're more liable to muck it up a little bit in the future and take some dumb damage. It's like, you know, if you're like a billionaire and you go to your auto mechanic and he's like, Hey, this will be $1,100. You're not going to be like, fuck you. My dad's a mechanic. That's a $934 fix, right? You're just going to pay the bill. That's where I'm at right here with our HP. It's like, I mean, I, oh, Torn Photo is at least a high magnitude stats upgrade. So this will help us out in, in every area. But, of course, it would have been better if I just got the DPS from it. But, actually, the shot speed being redistributed is nice. If I could only redistribute the shot speed, that'd be good. But, uh, of course, we, we have to redistribute the tier effect as well. But, anyway. That's kind of where I'm at right now. Is like, our HP is so high and continues to get so high that... Um, I, whenever I take damage, I'm like, well, we can afford it. Let's be honest. Where did that key come from? And we have slowed down uh, to the point where boss rush, I wouldn't say it's in, it's not guaranteed, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I wouldn't necessarily go so far as to call it in question yet. I don't know if it's in question, but it's, uh, it's not guaranteed. I think this is okay. Let's use a bomb to blow this guy up. We're only going to be like a minute ahead of schedule. Uh, sure, Battery Baby seems like that could help us out a lot, or Charged Baby. One day I'll, I'll give it the right name. Emperor card, Monster Manuel. Well, uh, that's pretty bad. But the Emperor card seems usable if we want to teleport out of a room, or if we want to guarantee ourselves boss rush. You know, it's like kind of like an inverted purpose for what we would use the Emperor card for most of the time, which is to, you know, get out of the boss rush. Nah, here we're going to use it to get in. Uh, admittedly... We could go play the self-sacrifice room a little bit, and, you know, our battery charge would give us double plays there, but we don't really benefit at all from having the key piece. We just get, uh, 
the key piece, and you probably lose points for picking it up, and a, a really hefty damage bonus, so I'm going to assume this is probably not where we want to be on this one. 15 seconds ahead of where we want to be on our splits for boss rush. On a, uh, on a daily, that's not an ideal situation, but I, I really feel like our time has slowed down a lot because of tough rooms. I don't think we've really... I mean, I, I know like a couple floors ago I was like, well, we haven't gotten as stronger, or as strong, as quick as I'd like. I sort of feel different about that now. Like right now, I'm like, we're, we're pretty strong. You know, everything we pick up also grants us like a proportionate strength increase. It's like getting a damage upgrade normally is like taking anabolic steroids. You know, it, it's, uh, it, it fast tracks your progress. I'm not trying to say it's a good thing or a bad thing. You know, I guess weigh your own, uh, weigh your own concerns for stuff like that. And then we're just doing like a thousand push-ups a day with Libra. It's like, it's probably not the most efficient way to get strong. But you know, with every push-up we are getting stronger with, you know, very limited risk to ourselves. I guess is what I'm trying to say here. I can see forever, it's like an acceptable pill. I also feel like we've done a good job with our exploration bonus. You know, we haven't found every secret room, but we've found several. Um, several second secret rooms at that, and then... Uh, you know, we've done our mob trap rooms, and we've done our, uh... We've done our other, uh... Special rooms, to some extent, at least. Is this... Okay, not a special room, that's fine. That's fine. I also feel like... We've taken a, a, an industry acceptable amount of damage. You know, we haven't... Taken ten hits per floor. We've taken a few... And I don't feel good about it, because there, there's no reason for us to take a few, but... Could be worse. And we're really, like, extremely comfortable right now. You know, you can watch us go through these rooms. The rooms are going just fine. Not really at, at a huge risk of, uh... Of losing anything here. But of course, if I could just pick up some more... I, I mean, tier effects at this point might be more valuable than just merely, like, huge damage upgrades. Like, if you can give me Mom's Contact, Mom's Contact doesn't get redistributed. Mom's Contact is Mom's Contact. I really think that with the car battery, it's gonna take a lot for me to get rid of the nail. Basically, we get a Spirit Heart once every three rooms, plus the damage bonus. It's like an active version of the Relic that is superior to the Relic. Plus, we've got Charged Baby working with it. There are some items that um, work so well with car battery that I'd be tempted, you know, but... The pony is in one of them. Finally, we get a deal with the devil, and it's the pentagram, which is actually fairly solid. Um, I mean, it's not as good for us because of, you know, of course, we got the, you know, the Libra effects going on here. But if you ignore that, uh, which you can't, at the very least, we're still getting a uh, nice little uh, nifty little deal with the devil extra niftiness, right? Still getting that extra, like, plus 33% chance on the next three floors. Statistically, that might be good for one extra deal with the devil. Or zero, or three, depending on, you know, how, how well we roll, I guess, but... What is this room? I don't like this room at all. That's where our shop is. Puberty? It's not a bad pill. I'll admit, we're looking a little slow right now. I'll take spider mod. I have nothing against spider mod here. The Chaos card. We have to take the Chaos card over the Emperor card and then just run our asses off to the boss fight. Why do we take Chaos over the Emperor? Because uh, it kills Hush instantly. And that's awesome. Like, to kill Hush instantly, we're going to take so much less damage as a result of that. Oh, yeah, you're a real smart guy here. Um, we're going to take so much less damage as a result of that. We're going to hopefully not miss, and then we're good. Uh, let's prioritize what we want to prioritize here, which is uh, making sure that we have the best chance possible to get to our boss rush, which, I mean, admittedly, we ran counter to that design philosophy when we uh, got rid of the Emperor card, but I, I got rid of the Emperor card for what I feel is a good reason. If we're not at full HP, we might as well pop car battery. If we keep taking 15 seconds of room, that's fine by me, inside of our shop. Ooh, there's an opportunity to get chaos. I, I also realize there's a dude we could blow up in there. May indeed be interested in ruining his life to make my own more superior. 
Tell you what, we'll check it quickly. We gotta, we gotta be real fast though, okay? That's nine cents and a key. Uh, I really doubt at this point that we are gonna get chaos, simply because it's, it's kind of a long shot. Don't fuck up boss rush. This is like, at this point, it's our singular purpose in life. We're not quite at the point where we're, you know, running down every single room with a bomb and just cracking it open. Well, that's enough to get chaos. But I really don't want to walk back for it. I know that's going to disappoint a lot of people. Everybody goes, you can make it, you can make it. But they don't actually think I can make it. What they think is that chaos is so good that it means more than me not making it. Making it to boss rush is my principal concern on any daily. Now, well, to start with at least. Now, we do have the opportunity to go pick it up now. So I'm actually going to, buy chaos, skip our item room. Because we, we simply don't have time. We got our consumables there, but more importantly, Chaos can give us basically any item in the game. And I know that we maybe you'd look at this and say, Oh, you got time, man. You got all sorts of time. I don't think we have all sorts of time. I think it, because we have no orbitals, it might take us a little longer than you'd expect to kill Mom. Um, which is why I'm actually going to pop uh, the nail right off the bat. Normally, you'd probably... Oh, I almost got hit there. Normally, you'd probably uh, hold off on that because you're fighting so many waves of bosses. You want to get an early start there, but... Um... Oh, there you go. We got a charge battery. Charge battery! Just a great name for, like, a the world's worst superhero slash cop. That's not two different people. He's a He got in an accident at the foundry, and now he is... Not the foundry? At the power plant, is what I mean to say. It's still a little tight for time here, honestly. That's what we're trying to make sure we get, like, the poison on at all times. Thank God we didn't do one extra room. Like, is this not actually a scary kind of, like, lack of margin of error here? We've done it. No deal with the devil. Take the Polaroid. Get in here quickly. Uh, let's not pop that bad boy till we decide. Ceremonial robes is great. Oh, ceremonial robes are a guppy item. Uh, we're gonna take ceremonial robes. Again, it's it's just an all stats upgrade. It's just my luck. She's got someone else in mind. It's just my luck. It happens all the time. Uh, but uh, I'm I'm pleased with this. Now, admittedly, by doing boss rush, we may have cost ourselves a, a chance at uh, at hush. We got 15 waves. Each one is <laughs> looking like it's going to take us a little longer than I wanted it to take us. You know what I mean? Yeah, this is uh, not a great uh, not a great situation to be in here, Tim. I'll tell you that much right off the bat. It's It took Boss Rush for me to realize, like, hey, are we bad? I mean, I don't think we're bad. I think maybe just, like, our damage is bad. Would it have been better for us to fight Hush? Yeah, because, yeah, you know, it's more points than we have a Chaos card, but so be it. Alright, Pin, give me, give me some quick ones. Mega Ma and Dingle, this is pretty quick. Stack it up, I'll take it. At least with Spider Mod, we can see how close these enemies are to death, so I, like, I can visualize it nicely. That would be a great Devil card, it's Wheel of Fortune. Thanks for the Chaos card. We're going to use that to take out Dingle. I'm being facetious. Okay, who's next? Recall, of course, unfortunately, that um, we don't get any extra bonuses for using the nail after the first time. It's not like our damage gets, like, you know, proportionately better. That's actually pretty solid. I gotta be real with you. I don't think we're getting out of here by 30 minutes. We don't have to get out of here by 30 minutes. We gotta get out of here and also get to our um, mom's hard fight and beat mom within 30 minutes. I'm pretty sure that this is not doable for us right now. Is it the Libra pickup that fucked us? I don't know, but did it, if, if something fucks us after it saves us, did it save us or did it fuck us? Did it even save us? I don't know. I felt like at the time it, it did more saving than fucking. You don't want any part of this, man. My Virgo invincibility is just running wild on you. 
If only we had like, I mean, even I guess, how does how does it work if you get spun at this point? Like we have an all stats upgrade, or sorry, we have Libra, so all stats should become all stats. But I feel like maybe that doesn't apply for transformations. Hopefully it doesn't. We really got to start thinking about um, how much time do we need to get to the hush fight. I would like five minutes is like where I would at least be comfortable, depending on the item that we get from our uh, from finishing boss rush. I'd, I'd I'd feel okay if we had five minutes to get like two enemies or the two floors done. If we get down to like a minute and a half, we're fucked. I could I could. Fudge the numbers slightly, and I do mean that uh, very, very slightly. You could fudge the numbers by using the Chaos card on Mom's Heart. Of course, that's that runs counter to my overall strategy, but if it's got to be done, it's got to be done. I mean, how how close are we to being like halfway done here? We're like halfway to being halfway done. Most professional mathematicians might call that a quarter, but, uh, <laughs> Mama didn't raise no fool. Now. Okay. There you go. Polycephalus is just a weak version of the stain. A couple of blast of sizzles here. It's the, sorry, hey, I didn't, just because I said that, uh, you were a weak version of the, a strong version of Polyphemus, uh, Polycephalus doesn't mean you have to show up right now. Cause oh, it's the Forsaken! Hey, at least he took out the stain quickly. Please. You don't understand. I'm it's like the least damage I've ever done at this stage of the game. How did I get here with bells on if I can't even kill the enemies quickly? Doesn't make any sense to me. All right, so I think like our most optimistic prediction would be getting out of here within the next minute. So that would put us at 26. We'd have four minutes to get to the hush fight. It's doable. It would be more doable if this dropped brimstone upon completion. I know people are gonna be bent out of shape. By the way, they didn't pick up Guppy as my item uh, from Boss Rush, especially because Chaos. One of the ad advantages of it is that you can get Guppy items in many more locations. But I. Uh... Well, I mean, I don't really have a great answer for whether or not that's the right situation. All I know is that I know what I did. Maybe it's right, maybe it's wrong. Maybe it's my god! What have I done? Letting the days go by and then, you know. Okay, just uh, keep backing yourself up here. This is going okay. At the very least, we're, we can feel respectable for getting the boss rush. I'd feel pretty bad if I missed boss rush. Getting to boss rush on a daily where you start with one HP, it's like, you know, it's like a Judas daily. There's gonna be people that are gonna be behind the eight ball right from the get-go. All right, I think maybe we got three more waves. That puts us getting out of here at like 28. Ugh, that's a borderline impossible. I would actually love to get rid of this chaos card and have an emperor card back so that we could, uh, we could just teleport through the first floor at this point, we're going for broke, so it doesn't matter. First floor, second floor, third floor. First floor, second floor, third floor. Please be our last wave. Please be our last wave. Please be our last wave. That was not our last wave. We got, like, pin? Pin's not bad. Pin and little horn? Unfortunately, this doesn't strike me as a last wave either, so we probably got at least one after this. Get that poison damage on there so you don't have to, you know, keep being a chaperone. Good, good, good. Last wave. Last wave. Keep it up. Yeah, fuck you. No, okay, that time you fucked me. Well, this is easy enough. It's like fighting old Monstro too. He killed the other enemy too. Go, 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 go. That's the end. We've done it. Book of Belial. Can't do it. Sorry. Here we go. Down to the next floor. Do we have a chance? Yes, we do. I would really like to keep our Chaos card, man. Okay, crack it open. 
Now I wish I'd saved some bombs, but if we'd saved our bombs, we wouldn't be able to make it. Um, or we wouldn't, we wouldn't have been out as quickly as we got out. So you'll notice my philosophy has changed, and I'm immediately pursuing, like, the uh, biggest rooms I can find. Enemies that teleport can suck on my dick. That's my new catchphrase. I've been trying it out. People want me to market to a, a more brash generation. They find that in the 18 to 45 demo, they buy a lot of products associated with their attitude. So I'm trying to do the suck on my dick thing. Probably should go to this curse room, right? Think about it at least. Yo, I'm actually going to take damage to finish this room faster. You never know if those extra two seconds might make all the difference. That was dumb, but I was going to walk in here anyway. So that was like super dumb. Okay, this is, these are these are bad damage penalties. Um, please be a boss fight. Ah, that is not a boss fight. I'm not sure if you guys noticed that, but this enemy is not a boss. Okay. Well, uh, there's still a chance to get an Emperor card. And then fight Hush the old-fashioned way. Even though it would take two or three years. Not, not interested right now. There's no time. Oh, holy shit, we actually found our boss. Okay, so don't use Chaos on this floor. Because it's probably going to be fast enough to kill this guy anyway. So I'm going to use Chaos right now. Why did I use Chaos? Because I realized that I was actually being very stupid about that. Um, no, 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 it's not worth it. And, I, and it's actually best to use Chaos that way. It, it, hypothetically, in my opinion, it was best to use Chaos on Mama Gertie. Not only to save us time, but also because if we get an Emperor card on this floor, now we can actually use it. Double key room? What the heck's going on with this? We only got a minute to get into that mom's heart fight, man! I ain't got time for this, so please! Okay, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Uh, it's just a dime that was, like, not worth it in the least. Telepills. Whoa! That's the same room! You flippin' jerk! I'm not using bombs on every room, even though at this point it probably should, but uh, I'm not using bombs on every room. I'm just going to use them on the ones that are going to take us more than, like, three seconds to kill. This one, it, like, is super fucked. I hate these guys. I hate these guys, too. Uh, really can't afford to teleport. Whoa! Come on. Oh my god, it's all hands all the way down. Look, I'm gonna be real with you. We made it, but we can't get through this room. So we will not be able to fight Hush. Uh, it's, uh, am I salty about it? No, not really. It is sobering to know that I was only like, you know, probably about a minute away from being able to make Hush work. Maybe if you just get into the fight within 30 minutes, they'll let me. This is the, like, was the first stage of, uh... Of this, or second stage of uh, grief. We're in denial now. That's okay. I still think we did... I, I think a lot of people are going to struggle with time on today's daily. But I, a lot of that may come down to whether or not you chose to take the Libra um, pickup. And of course I chose to take the Libra pickup because I'm... That's why I'm a wild and crazy guy. <laughs> but... Uh, I don't uh, know in hindsight if that was really the correct decision for us to take. But I'm still pleased. I think like we, we put down like a decent daily today. A daily we can be, if not proud of, you know, we can at least be like, hey, we put in a solid day's work here. It's not like we just totally threw it away on the first floor, which did look, you know, conceivable for a minute. Yeah, no hush fight. Again, understandable, but let's head up. I really don't like missing um, the hush. Well, any anything, but I don't like missing missing the hush. <laughs> I don't like missing. I don't like uh, Misha Barton. Is what I was gonna say. She um, nothing against her, I guess, but I've never really found her that great of an actress. And um, you know, kind of like a flavor of the month sort of deal with the OC and then House of Wax. Like, come on. You think House of Wax is gonna be your foray into the mainstream? Come on. I mean, I'm, uh, at this point, this is like, uh, I imagine being like a hostage negotiator and then you retire. Like, you're just sitting at the dock of the bay watching the tide roll in, right? Sitting at the dock of the bay, wasting time. 
We were living this uh, high-pressure lifestyle trying to get to that hush fight. Now it's like, it seems like nothing's gonna change. Every Larry Jr. just remains the same. I think we're probably gonna be top thousand. Uh, if if I'm overestimating how easy the first couple of floors were, we could be top 500. But I think that's that's pretty much our upper ceiling because we missed out on the we missed out on a huge point bonus and uh, you know chaos hush. I'd, I'd almost feel better about it if I like lost the chaos card. That's a pretty bad uh, deal with the devil for us there, but uh, I'd almost feel better if we just like forgot the chaos card on one of the floors, because then I'd feel like there was like hope in the universe. But instead, like we did everything. I feel like we did everything in our power to get to the the hush fight as quickly as possible, but it just ended up not being uh, not being in the cards. We will go to our curse room. I feel like that's sensible. I definitely should not have used the nail until we went through this room, but it's okay. What do you got for me? Joker car. Then we'll use that on the next floor. I doubt it'll be great, but we'll use it nonetheless. And the two of spades, the two of spades. <sighs> okay. Well, it's going to be like a 40 minute long daily, too, which is like definitely above average in terms of like the time that it takes to complete your your average daily here and i have to imagine we probably got disproportionately more dps upgrades than i thought we would so libra i recognize and and acquiesce was probably a poor choice for us on this run i got blinded by the consumables and the and the possible success in the future and i think that probably held us back a little not necessarily a ton but a little i mean look at it take it takes us uh 34,000 years. Uh, it takes us the entire Cretaceous period here to take out this stupid uh, Lokis here, man. You're supposed to, like, one-shot these guys. By now, every every run's supposed to have Brimstone Guppy. That's just science. And we do not have it. We don't even have any Guppy items, although we did have a choice. Hey, can I at least be vindicated for not taking Guppy's Collar now that we've seen... The other items and realize that there were no other guppy items available. Well, technically, streamer, uh, thanks to the butterfly effect, uh, we, we can't speak about causality and such. Uh... Okay, you, you got me. You, you smarmy so-and-so. Yeah, well, 56 keys. It seems like we'd probably open that. We actually could use the bombs. Oh, you know... No, we're not going to do that today. <laughs> I don't want to fight another fistula. I've fought enough fistulas for one one lifespan here. Well, we've only got one way to go to get to Isaac, basically. Again, it's one of those runs where, like, you can't die. We, we should have no chance of death. Or at least very little chance of death. Man, remember when we fought Monstro 2? With the exact items that we have right now, except we had 10 extra bombs that we picked up from our first uh, womb boss. Took a long time, huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm experiencing that uh, same... It was very much a, a tone setter for how much we were going to be, be able to feel optimistic about getting to the hush fight. Hush little baby, don't say a word. Daddy kind of fucked up the leaderboard. I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> Became like the Twilight Sad there for a second. Romantic gestures. Okay. Uh, let's take this. Where, where, where are we going here? Uh, big room. Big room with a bunch of jerks. A big room with a bunch of jerks. I'm gonna leave and tell you to suck on my twerks. At some point, we will use um, the nail here. I promise. And uh, two extra bombs. I've been rewarded for my laziness. Probably will use it on the Isaac fight. Even if we get hit once on here, which is like extremely plausible, especially now that it's actually been willed into existence. Um, we get the same amount back from a nail play, but we get the damage bonus as well. Why did I take Flatworm over Flat Penny, by the way? Because what, what the fuck are we going to do with 56 keys, man? Anything is better than, than... I mean, I guess technically it would give us points for the daily. But I'm more interested in, like, even the, like, 5% effective damage bonus that we get here from being able to hit enemies more realistically. 
This is one of the, this happens in Isaac, I don't know, maybe like a, a few times a month. For me, at least, which is, I have a run where, like, everything's good, but somehow the run still sucks. And I find myself in a situation, I'm like, what happened, man? I went to college, I got my, uh, MBA, and now I'm sitting here, you know, I'm the night manager at, uh, at the freaking glue factory making 14 cents an hour. How did this ha- like, I, I went through all the necessary steps, I look at my items and my credentials here, and I go, this is pretty good. And the answer is Libra, man. Much like the answer in real life is... Crystal methamphetamine? I don't know. Throw a bomb in there. That's like still our best damage dealer, sadly enough. I'm hoping we get a syringe on the next floor, get spun, and then just pretty much win. But uh, I have to admit that I'm like looking at this run and I'm like, man, we're not that strong anymore. Like, maybe we could die. Maybe we could just get whittled down and have, like, the most frustrating death in Isaac history. I really don't want to believe that Libra has had... <clears throat> That's gonna hurt. Uh, has had as much of a damaging effect as it may have had. Like, I want to believe that Libra helped us out a lot here, but I don't think it did. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, man, Libra... Libra fucked us! Alright, let's open these bad boys up. Curse of the Unknown kind of sucks. We have 9 HP. Um, wow, that's like horrible. Tell you what, we take this, and this. Why do we take that HP and ruin permanent Polaroid invincibility? Because I'm going to use our Joker card right away. Oh my god! I was like, as long as it's not Krampus, baby, we're good. It's a Krampus, baby. But we got five extra homing bombs. So I'll use those. Man, at least give me Lump of Coal. Not Krampus's head. All right, Krampus's head. We heard you talking about Krampus's head, so we decided to still put your butt in my hands, zombie, zombie. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Like my brain is programmed for 35 minute Isaac runs. We're on minute 38 right now. It's too much, man. I can't. I can't keep it up. Oh, out of context quotation marks, I can't keep it up, NL 2016, Ooh, bless me with the comment likes that I so desire. Like, I would do, I, I take things out of context, apropos of nothing at all. I shouldn't have picked up that battery charge, but hopefully it ends up being inconsequential. Much like uh, most of our existences, myself included. Now. If you could just, uh, actually take some damage, that will... Oh, there we go, we got through one of them. What the heck? They set up a great gauntlet of matrices here. You think this is linear algebra class, man? I didn't sign up for this shit. Look, I'll admit, when I saw Dad's key, I was like, whoa! Dad's key, but, um, we can't use Dad's key to fight Mega Satan on this run. It's actually like the biggest cock tease, uh, because we, there's no, there's no Satan door. So temporarily I was like, this is hilarious and also sure, let's fight Mega Satan, maybe get some bonus points. Maybe Chaos finally came through in the clutch, but nah, actually this is just, uh, this is a very unfortunate situation that, that provides us with basically no benefit whatsoever. Alright, two Regmen are dead. Ragman number three. Look, we can see our damage from Spider Mod. 81 is pretty poor, man. Nice. No chest? No chest. Just some red hearts. Ooh, ooh Browning in motion. Okay, we, uh, we lived. You know, it'd be a great name for uh, a band that plays scatological covers of air supply songs? Brownian Emotion. There's some here. Let's give it a second. My toilet is clogged. I'm so lost without you. I'm singing to Drano. This song's about Drano. It, I, I did the best that I could. All right. I try. I flipping tried. I'm gonna get another nail charge soon. That's good. We can still go to our secret rooms. This is gonna be like a 50-minute-long daily. That is not the norm. I'm happy to be fighting Greed for the chance to get an item here, I guess. 
Can you drop a chest? No, you could probably just drop greed-related items if I had to guess, right? Yeah, that's my assumption. Oh, never mind! Necronomicon! I had to yell like that to make myself feel alive, because actually this is pretty bad. You gotta admit, like, I'm not complaining about this run, because we are, in all likelihood, gonna win. And not everybody's gonna have that luxury. However, Jesus fuck, like, how many shitty rolls can we get on, like, items on the chest? Blue map is the best thing we've gotten. Instead, we got the two flippin' range upgrades. Power pill's actually pretty good. Two range upgrades, uh, or sorry, two HP upgrades, a range upgrade, and then homing bombs when we have three bombs. What a time to be alive. I don't care who we kill last year. I mean, it probably should be en or Wrath, so that we can maybe get some bomb synergies, but... Instead, we'll kill Greed, and I don't know, he has some coins. We might as well pick them up at this point, I guess. I just don't even understand what the point of this is. Ah! Okay. Famine, huh? If you could actually give me a cube of meat, I'd be so stoked. We still do get Virgo invincibility from time to time. This guy's going a little buck wild on the shots here. Might as well pick up all these. You never know how many points there. There, it's like 70 points right there. That's actually not bad. All right, these guys are like bomb city, bitch. Okay, what's your? You rarely see these these gentlemen jokers at this time of the day. Another red heart can't do anything for us. It's gonna be a long ass floor apparently as well. Hey, a battery charge is real nice. Don't accidentally walk into it. I only have one bomb left, too. We, like, who do we piss off for our luck stat to be negative 68? At least make it one lower so that it could actually uh, become a joke for me. Thank you. So, uh, normally I wouldn't min max to this extent. Oh, we actually got a Nail Charge immediately. Okay. Well, I was going to say, normally I wouldn't min-max to this extent, but I'm going to use my Nail Charge immediately on the next room and then come back for this one so I can get double the damage bonus, but I figured we might as well just get one extra play with it. Whoop. Oh, you will never get this. Okay. We drop our bomb in here. Um, let's save our Nail for the Blue Baby fight. Try to kill Wrath last. Get some bombs back. I don't know how much HP we have, but it should be, like, at least over six. Alright, this is fucked up. Go grab this thing. As if the run wasn't taken long enough. Let's add another 45 minutes of banal minutia here. Alright, we got Satanic Biblio, which is okay. And then we got Fate's Reward, which is okay. And then we'll take our Nail Charge in here. We'll pop it immediately and we'll go beat the shit out of Blue Baby, but... Man, this is like a pretty, like, blah daily, I've got to admit. I mean, I'm not having a bad time with it, of course, but... I am sort of like, we missed out on Hush, which I'm not pleased with, and, uh... Boss Rush was a pain in the butt. I wonder how much of it comes down to this being, like, Tyrone trying to push his anti-Libra agenda on us. Fucking Libra Media is trying to make another propaganda piece here. I'll show you my propaganda piece. Propaganda? Propaganda? Fuck the English language, man. Vowels have too many sounds. We need to take a, take a hint from Korean, man. From now on, all vowels have the same sound. Not the same, not like O's sound like U's. Don't, don't deliberately misinterpret me there. I'm just saying, they have consistent sounds. An A never sounds like A, ah, or it never sounds like A. It only sounds like one or the other, all the time. You almost got it. You almost got it. He's almost dead, just like one more poison. There we go. Holy Christ, get out of I don't even know. Is this top thousand, was what I was thinking? Yeah, that seems fair. You know what's horrifying, is that I was top... I was like roughly the same rank for time as well, which means this is the world's slowest daily. I'll, I'll be honest with you, I didn't have that much fun with today's daily, but there were parts of it that were pretty cool. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button, it helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.